Hi, welcome dear students to eighth video of chapter A. Hope all of you are doing good. Today, I am going to discuss about attributes of Matthew tag and character tag. Previous class, I explained about uh, font tag with the attributes, body tag attributes, and adding mark to a web page. Now let us discuss one by one attributes of mark tag. We can set the width, height, behavior, and BG color the mark tag. So now to see how to write the attributes notepad and run the program. Now going to open first, first program how to uh, you already already familiar with the how to use a mark queue and uh, first of all start with the HTML then start of the tag and have a Closing tag. ML. Now, head tag. Open and close head tag. Just write down the title. Attributes. Attributes. And close the title. And as you know, you must write all the tags in the body tag so that it is visible to the rules. Okay. Now I don't want to mark it. Mark you and include mark you tag and Write the mark tag, write the text. So, uh, write on the H1 tag so, so bold. Close the H1 tag. Once you save and run the program, or save the program. Desktop, desktop, and save with the video. It video it dot email. And uh, Matthew tag open, Matthew tag close, body tag open, and body tag close. So now uh, see the uh, video A, run the program and uh, wait for. Uh, so you can set here the width of the mark you tag, width and height. So just uh, see here the Hello India within the mark you tag. So you can see the direction direction from right to left. Default is the right to left. Now set the, can you change the background color to this text? VG color? Yes, you can set the VG color and the value of the VG color. So just write down the attributes, VG color, VG color. Equal to I do not uh, name uh, green of the color name. You can write down this way and see and check the output in the screen. So now you can see uh, able to simply able to change the background color of the text. And simply, we are also we can also check change the height and width 
of the so good just need to say the is equal to write down in the percentage it's better to better to write down the percentage if you write it down with the 50 percent and you can see we uh just so this being 50 percent of the estimate you can see and uh, similarly you can also write down the value in pixel points just like uh, 350 i'm just going to write down 350 for pixel that is a point now you can see the 350 better to uh, write down in the percentage so it is a, if right here the 50 percentage that is the one fourth of the screen and uh, now it's similarly you can also set the height height is equal to 150 150 one, so, uh, now I it is now increased. So simply you are able to say the can say it, you can say it the height will attribute and uh, height with behavior, the alternate can say scroll and behavior. So behavior is equal to uh, value you can say a scroll or you can say the alternate and also set the behavior and uh, behavior is equal to all your this way can uh, these are the attributes of marquee tag. Now, just going to discuss the important tags, character tags. The so whatever we write inside the B tag, B whatever we write inside the B tag. And write down the B before bold. Keep the text bold. So whatever we write inside the B tag, uh, just write to write close the B tag and the the text appears appears inside the so this is the first paragraph here and you can just do one thing you know, the br tag br tag is used for line b so that the text uh, you can use the br tag or you simply use here for line uh, you can use here the hr tag it's also empty tag can write down the HR for the general line and this is line B R for line break. And once you write the code, you can see here the output. Yes, able to see that B R for line HR is the horizontal line. Now, so text appears after a line break or or after the horizontal. Line. So this is the first where uh, if you want to write the text, uh, simply I'm just going to write down the text. This is the first paragraph and you can compare here. So simply you can compare the text within the bold or text symbol. Just going to use another tag so that yours now. See here. So the text inside the B tag and tags without the B is in the B tag, paragraph tag. So you can distinguish, uh, it appears bold and the tag 
can also use the tag inside the check when you write the make the text italics so how to make the text italics so this we just need to uh, write the text inside take a big and uh, italics make italics is use the i and write down the text here this is uh, And it must uh, close, I close first, then P close. Must be close. So just check the order. P, uh, P tag first, start first, then it must be close at the end. I italics, I for italics here, I should be closed first before the P tag. Now check this is the. We can also use here the HR tag. Show that. Uh, so now check here I for italics. You can see here the difference italics. The text appears. First line is italics. This is italics. This is the simple tag and the bold text. Now I am going to use the another important tag that is. Uh, Ever you write in uh, underline, make the text text underline. So how can we do that? We just simply uh, inside uh, uh, underline U for underline. Use a U tag. Open text inside the. So U must be closed first, and uh, thereafter. And for a horizontal line, so we can just do simply how uh, simply here the text underline. So I hope we are able to understand how to make the text underline, how to take, make the text italics, in italics, and the text inside a text, make the text. Bold and the how to write in the parallel. So, and you also learn different attributes of the mark you tag. Now, I hope you are able to understand the different tag which I explained. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.